Lionesita Sweeney from Lionesita.com, who's Lionesita and Think Personal Branding. Today, the date is June 20th, uh, 2017. Time right now is 10 in the night. Okay, happened to get this email from a gentleman. Obviously, I won't take his name, but let's go on with the mail. Okay, it says, Hi, Loy, hope this mail finds you well. Now, of course, the mail finds me well. I am uh, currently reading the book Tools of Titans, which is a nice book, and at the same time practicing meditation. And uh, I'm happy to share with you that uh, my views on Quora, which is a new website where I'm giving my expertise, has crossed half a million views. So kind of happy with that. Okay, anyway, I follow you on Facebook. Thank you very much. And I read your articles. Thank you again very much. Please do make sure that you share them because I feel very happy when people share my articles and I receive engagement uh, whenever I find the time. And I always want to write to you, but then I would get hesitant. There's nothing to be hesitant about. We are living in a day and age where everyone connects with everyone else. So that's pretty cool. I visited your website today and then I realized that I can actually consult you with my problems and seek clarity seek for a clarity okay fine you can seek for a clarity that is provided you pay me money because i do this professionally and you can consult me anytime provided you pay the money so it's always pay the money okay uh, but if you send me an email it's for free okay i wish to have a session with you whenever you're available i am always available because i'm free i'm sitting on, obviously you cannot disturb me when i'm doing my meditation or when i'm doing my studies or when I'm relaxing with my wife, or when I'm having personal time. Uh, otherwise, most of the time I'm free, okay? Um, you know, I'm always on my Okay, background. Now he gives me a background. I am 1992 born kid, okay? One second, I just got this message. Uh, well, I am doing a recording, recording, give me 15 minutes. Okay, sorry, I keep receiving messages. Okay, let me shut this window, okay? I am a 1992 born kid. Well, you still call yourself a kid, okay? Uh, 1992, so you must be approximately 2002, 12, 17, 25 years old. Okay, started working at the age of 18. Okay, that's very good. Bad family conditions, well, we all have that. Worked in India for a salary of 2,000 rupees in 2009 and slowly moved up the ladder. Well, I started also my job at the age of 18. Yeah, more or less the same. Uh, worked as a shopkeeper, bellboy, toilet cleaner, sweeper, all that shit, okay. And then joined a bank in sales as a sales executive. Well, I did the same. I joined Citibank as a sales executive at the age of 21, I think. Now I feel I'm at a saturation point, uh, un unable to grow to the next level. Well, I realized that within a few months of working in the bank, uh, after being in sales, I realized I didn't want to continue this for the rest of my life because sales was professional begging Anyone could do it. Uh, most of the girls were showing their boobies and their ass were selling much more cards and loans than I was. So I realized, what the fuck is this? You know, I didn't want to be there. It, it, it is nothing so specialized being in a fucking bank. You know, it's just banking products that you're selling like a fucking postman. And obviously through experience, you gain more proficiency. But then again, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's not a job that I would be passionate about, okay? Having spent four years in Dubai, fuck, four years, that's a long time in a banking sales. I think you really need to change your industry or your bank or your job, okay? Uh, made a lot of money, incentives, very good. I hope you have saved a lot of money. Spend more than that during the nights. You're a stupid fucking idiot. And now I'm paying my credit card bills, loans, and a luxury car loan. You are an absolute fucking idiot because what you've done is now you're living a life of debt. You're, whatever money you're making, you're paying it off, so it's it's more like you're working hard to pay off your loans, which is a really sad way to live. Okay, I'm quite happy with my job. Fine, if you're happy, then congratulations, I'm currently doing. But I know this will not take me anywhere. Well, obviously, it's not going to take you anywhere because what are you going to be? Sales executive, senior sales executive, team leader, uh, sales manager, maybe. Then if you're lucky, really fucking lucky, and you're an industry leader, then sales director. But then again, you're talking this whole timeline being 15 years or 18 years or 20 years, you really need to slog your ass off and you need to be committed to this industry for the rest of your life, provided there's no downturn and provided uh, it's fair, provided there's no racism, provided there is no favoritism, provided there's no politics. 
okay? And provided you're ready to kiss everyone's fucking ass, from your customers to your boss to everyone else. So if I choose to stay in this job, I'm really gonna fuck up my career for sure. Yes, exactly, that's what I meant. Have been fat all my life. Now, from where the fuck does fat come in in your career? I've been fat all my life, I've tried to reduce it all my life, I end up failing. Okay, I don't know where the fuck is fat got to do with your career, but anyway, fine if you just had a brain fart and you know, you just said fat. Okay, fine, whatever. Okay, got messages. All right, current thoughts. I'm currently doing an MBA. Stop wasting your fucking time, your fucking money, and your fucking resources doing a fucking MBA because a fucking MBA is worth nothing unless it's from Harvard Business School. From a B school, nobody gives a fuck about it, okay? Which can boost my CV. No, it does not boost your fucking CV. It's just a fucking. MBA, just a fucking three alphabets, which you can use for getting a fucking interview. But today's day and age, nobody gives a fuck about it. And in the banking industry, they, they only put a fucking MBA just to make sure that they filter candidates and they have this creme de la creme, which they assume. But at the end of the day, in the banking industry, they're looking for someone with, a, uh, you know, someone who can boost fucking the bottom line, the revenue, the ROI. They don't give a fuck whether you have an MBA or a degree or you're, you're a fucking school dropout. If you can quadruple the revenue of a fucking bank, that's all they're fucking interested in. But yes, higher up the banking industry, they're pretty stuck up as if a carrot is stuck up their fucking ass, so they say MBA. But end of the day, remember this, it is a lot of political factors and other external factors that come into play and MBA is really down there somewhere, okay? If you really want to climb up, you need to have the magic word, it's called Vasta. Okay, uh, which can boost my CV and help me get a good paying job. No, it will not help you get a good paying job. Some respect, nobody gives a fuck about your MBA and nobody will give you fucking respect. You want fucking respect. If you have a billion dollars in your fucking bank account, even if you're wearing a spandex or a G-string, still people will respect you. So money does the fucking talking. One doesn't get this working in the bank sales in the Middle East. Voila, you finally realized nobody will give you fucking respect. I know if I get a GMAT score, I don't know what the fuck, from where did GMAT score come? Many finance providers can fund my MBA. Why the fuck are you, why do you want to do your fucking MBA? Is it worth taking the risk? No, it's not worth taking the risk. The MBA would cost many $50,000 at least. Are you fucking stupid? Seriously, you're fucking stupid, okay? What do you suggest? Well, I just suggested you're fucking stupid, okay? I get paid 6,000 dirhams a month. Yee, six, eh. <laughs> You get paid 6,000 dirhams a month? Are you fucking stupid? You're still working for that shitty? I, I thought you are getting paid like, like 25, 35,000, okay? 6,000 is what I get, you know, sometimes for an hour of consultation, okay? And it's really peanuts. Yes, it is fucking peanuts. I'm sorry, you know, I'm, I'm being honest with you. And I actually look uh, at the hard and smart work I put to get the job done. But 6,000, come on, man. You're working for a fucking month. You're talking of eight hours. Plus two hours fucking traveling and two hours fucking coming back. So it's total of 12 hours, 12 hours, five days a week for a month and you get paid 6,000. That's lousy fucking salary. And you still want to get a fucking MBA to convince these guys by spending $50,000 more. How stupid can you get? What do you want? Get a job in a foreign country. MBA is not going to cut it. Nobody gives a fuck about a degree that you get from a foreign country. Okay, when you go to another country. And uh, no idea of going back to India, well, that's a good decision. I started to hate UAE, welcome to the club, because UAE is a transition period. I need to move somewhere where I can call home. Smart decision, finally you're thinking. I need to have a, a start earning well, and learn to spend and save wisely. How do I do this? Well, you need someone to fucking guide you, coach you, mentor you, and that is what you need to do first, because you're practically lost as far as you can see your fucking email. Qualifications, who the fuck cares? It's bachelor's in information technology, yeah, or whatever. Okay, seven years sales experience, yeah, whatever. I get I, I get good at everything with time. Really? I'm impressive, okay? I don't know what that's supposed to mean. I'm 25 years old now, but I've started to get the feeling I've already spent half my age, life doing nothing. Well, technically you have spent one third of your life doing nothing because if you calculate till the age of 75, 25 is over, another 25 then you're 50 and then life is over then the rest 25 you just suffer and die okay i better stop typing i have so much to rent out well it's okay it proves good content for me to give this video i've attached my resume for your reference okay fine let me have a look at your resume 
Looking forward to reply appointment so that I can have a session with you. Yes, if you pay the money, you can have an appointment because I charge people $150 to have a Skype session with me. So let me know if you want to pay that, then we can have a Skype session. Otherwise, you can just write a letter and I'll keep sending videos and that's how it's going to be. Okay, let's have a look at your resume. Download the resume and let's have a look at a resume of a banking leader okay so first impression of your fucking resume your resume looks like well if you have a weak stomach it's time you switch off this fucking video because i'm not gonna like what i'm gonna say first and foremost is your resume looks like it has been designed by a schoolboy. okay and guess what you have put your building name wow that's you put your building name so it's good to know your building name of where you stay it's good to know the name of the road where you stay it's good to know that you're from dubai hi my wife yes nice sweet wife okay it's also good to know that you are in dubai and you're not stated you're in uae so okay fine so that's right at the top which is the peak the most expensive prime property in a resume you've stated your building name so i don't know what am i supposed to do and then you have made sure that you Tell people that your mobile phone is your mobile phone. So that's another great achievement. Very good. And you let people know that your email is your email. So email, two dots, email. So good. So that's the first impression is like, wow, okay. A professional has not made his resume. A kid has made his resume. So that speaks volumes about your first impression. Second impression is your professional summary, which is approximately, let me tell you, is around 73 words. Okay, 73 words. So you started describing yourself as ambitious. Wow, okay, so you're ambitious. Now let's, let's, let's see. Uh, okay, you're ambitious, good. So it's good to know you're ambitious. And uh, then the next one is you're highly determined. Okay, all right. So we are getting there. So you have used the first two words to describe yourself. I'm ambitious and I'm determined. <sighs> wow. Okay. So then sales and marketing, six years experience of various fields. What are you trying to do? I have no idea because, see, here's the thing. If you talk about, uh, let's say, you talk about, okay, if I were to talk about me, I have never used terminologies like I am ambitious, I am focused, I'm creative. I don't do that. It's, it's like a guy telling a girl, listen, I'm handsome, I'm very understanding, and I'm cute. So what do you want the girl to say? Like, the girl will be like, are you a fucking idiot, you know? So, listen, you, you may be good in the banking industry, you may be good at selling, okay? But you're really bad, really fucking bad at writing your resume. And for me, the first, if I receive this resume, and I seen just a layout, I would dump it, okay? Then your career history that you have stated, okay, you have stated around, let's see, your career history, you have stated around how many words, uh, in and around, uh, how many words is this? Uh, it's getting there, getting there. I don't know why the fuck it's slow, man. This is so fucking crazy. Uh, 466 words, okay, 466 words, and what... What you have done to describe yourself, you have used words like uh, uh, targets to be achieved, then you said generating revenue, hiring new salespeople, then generating business, then handling a team, then day-to-day -day follow ups, then finding ways to expand business. I mean, look at the language that you're using. Is this what will sell is what you need to ask yourself, okay? Now, finally, uh, as your magnum opus in professional experience, you have said professional experience, you communicate new pr uh, products to potential clients, writing detailed sales forecast reports, managing accounts. See, here's the thing. I'm confused. What are you trying to tell me? Are you just trying to tell me what you do? Are you trying to sell me you as a brand? Are you trying to position yourself as an industry leader? What are you trying to do? Because for me, right now, when I look at your CV, it looks like a small baby has done this, you know, drafted this. And when you use stuff like this, like, for example, the most stupid thing in your resume is the fact that you have stated, like, you have a UAE driving 
license and car, yes. So what do you want to be, a driver? And why are you putting your date of birth, like 1992, why? You, you want people to know they're 25 years old and the language is Urdu, Kannada, Tamil, Hindi. What do you want to be, a linguist? So overall, when I see your resume, it gives me a really bad impression about you. Uh, you know, if I were to see a resume like this, I would just think that this is a guy who has come from the village in India and he's, he's just good at, you know, like, like a donkey, just going and begging people and selling. I don't see this as being a leader. I don't see this as being someone who is a brand. I don't see this as being someone who knows how to stand up. Maybe you have a great personality, maybe you're handsome or maybe you're dynamic. But then it's, you know, it's, it's stuff like this. See, first and foremost is you have mistakes on your resume. Your layout is terrible. You have spelling mistakes. You have gram, grammar mistakes. You, your email is also, uh, you know, you don't know how to articulate your thoughts pretty well. So the question is, if you do not know how to communicate your own self your, to yourself and to the world, how can you sell yourself as a brand? How can you be an industry leader? How can you target a position that pays you 35, 45, 50,000 uh, a, a month. So if you want my honest opinion, listen, you really need, if you really want to succeed, get yourself a mentor. I'm not trying to market my skills. Get yourself whomsoever you want uh, if you want to succeed. Otherwise, learn the hard way, struggle, and maybe in maybe 10 years, 5 years, or 20 years, maybe you'll reach your goal. So I don't know. But if you if you were to continue like this, even an MBA, you spend $100,000, $100, I think it's going to be a waste of time. Because at the end of the day, remember this, um, it's, it's knowing how to market yourself, which you can't learn from any MBA. It's knowing, you know, money management, which you can't learn from any educational institute. Common sense, street smart, you can't learn this anywhere. And, um, you know, knowing yourself, that's one of the greatest things which I think would help you uh, succeed so my dear friend don't want to take your name i hope this this video has given you a little bit of light uh if you want to have a conversation with me obviously you need to pay for my time because i'm an industry professional i don't do anything for free and uh if you want to succeed you know i think you need to really think seriously what are you doing where do you want to move and uh, how soon do you want to get there anyway i hope this video helped you um if you have any comments, let me know. Do like and share my video. I like that very much. And um, yeah, that's about it. So Lloyd from LloydMacedo.com who's Lloyd Macedo. The Thing Personal Branding, signing off for now. And I'll continue reading my book. That is Tim Ferriss. So that's what I'm going to do. Yeah. Anyway, take care. Bye. See you.